Today, we are at the Animal Welfare League of Queen Anne's County to talk about pet emergency preparedness in disaster situations. It's always important to have a family member, a friend, or a neighbor who's prepared to go to your house and take care of your animals, get them somewhere safe during an emergency situation. These people need to, most importantly, live close by so that, that they can get to your house quickly. Um, they need access to your home. They also need to know where you keep your emergency to-go bag for your pets. Um, it's also important that these people have um, a differing schedule than yours, so it's more likely and you're more assured that they will be home when you are not. So one of the most important things to remember um, in any emergency situation or any situation in general, if you find a dog or cat or anything you believe to be someone's animal, take it to your local shelter or the shelter for your county. The biggest reason for this is that if anyone's lost their pet, chances are they're going to go to their local shelter to try and find them. They may not cross county lines or chances are they're probably not going to cross state lines to try and find their animal. So to give them the best chance to find their home and for the owner to find their pet, take them to your local shelter and it sets them up with the best chance of going home. So I'm gonna go over what you need to have in case of emergencies for your pet. You should always have a to-go bag ready. Now this is my dog's to-go bag. Vega takes this pretty much everywhere with her. So she's used to every single item in this bag. So if she's going to the kennel, if she's going to um, boarding at my parents, wherever she's going, this is Vega's bag. So I always wanna make sure we take the food that Vega is on. So no stomach upset. If you have to board her in an emergency situation, she has her food, so she's not getting upset with a different type of food. In case of emergencies and we're not at a shelter, you always want to have some water for them. Then this is her travel water bowl, so I can put her water right in there and she can drink out of that. So if we're in the car for a long period of time or if we're running from a hurricane and we need water, she's got it. Then of course, I mean, how are you gonna feed them if you don't have a bowl? We have a collapsible dog bowl. Now my dog can be a picky eater sometimes, especially if she's stressed. So I make sure I bring some wet food just to be on the safe side. With one of these little pop top things that always breaks your fingernail because you don't know if you're gonna have a uh, can opener with you. So always make sure I bring some wet food. A couple toys with her smell on them from our house. So a heavy chewer in case she's stressed out and she wants to take that frustration out. A soft chew toy just in case she wants more of a comfort. I always have two leashes packed just to be on the safe side. The first one will clip right to her collar. She always wears a martingale collar. I also have a slip leash in here, which is easy enough to slip right around her neck, pull it down, secure it. So if you're in a hurry, you can slip that right on her and then later I can worry about getting the hook onto her. She's used to wearing bandanas, so I always bring one of her bandanas with her smell and a dactyl which is a pheromone to help calm, the stre calm her stress. Um, I think it helps her enough that in a situation like this, spraying down her bandana and her wearing it is a great idea for her. Poop bags, because poop happens. Medical, you never know what situation you're gonna be in. A few pair of gloves in case I don't wanna touch and I don't want my dirty hands on a wound that she has. A few extra of her prescription medications with me. She also has really bad allergies, so I always pack Benadryl just to be on the safe side. Just in case she is injured, I make sure I pack cling, some vet wrap, and some tape. Now if she is injured, I have little towelettes that have like an antibacterial cleaner in it. So that can be good for her and for humans. And what's really important is to have their medical record. So I keep in Vegas where she was adopted from. Um, I did rescue her from a different shelter. So I have that information on there. So if she is picked up and she can't get to the shelter that I'm closest to or to one of my emergency contacts, normally the rescue or shelter you adopt your animal from will normally take them back. So it's all of her information. Um, but it has her rabies certificate so we know she is current. I also have a copy of her county dog license. I have all of her microchip information. So yes, they can scan her. Yes, they can see the microchip tag on her collar. But what if her collar gets loose? What if she doesn't have it? What if the tag falls out off? So we have all of our microchip information. I also have a photo of her, because it's important to have photos of your dog in an emergency situation. So that's Vega, that's her name, her owner's information, phone number, email address, um, her address, because what if you're local and they can just take her back to your house? Um, her emergency contact, so her aunt. That is what's important in an emergency to-go bag for your pet. 
And of course, if you had a cat, you might change it up a little bit. Always have a litter box and some litter in here as well. But it's basically the same stuff, just smaller toys. If it is a disaster and you feel that you cannot care for your pet on your own, call your local animal shelter and see if they are able to accept your animal in a disaster situation. The Animal Welfare League here of Queen Anne's County is set up to take animals in a disaster situation. It is important, however, if you bring your animal to an animal shelter that you take all the necessary supplies that you have prepared in your to-go bag for your animal. Now, some community shelters that you go to will also accept animals, but it's important to check ahead of time that the animals will be accepted at the human shelter. If they are, that animal will be isolated and it will still be your responsibility to feed the animal, medicate the animal, and walk the animal as needed. So remember, if you have to leave in a disaster, these important tips. And thank you to the Animal Welfare League for letting us do this video here on Pet Emergency Preparedness.